I'm painting Hyun. I will make this class for people who want to paint easily and enjoy it. We learned about perspective and pen lines last class. So today, chapter 1-3, watercolor line, shading, and learning color gradation. So I prepared these uh, materials, two cup of cream water, brush, palette, eraser, pencil, this watercolor uh, paper, 7 by 10 inch, paper towel, these leaves for uh, shading. Okay. We are going to learn how to use watercolor by uh, creating lines and we will make a chart of watercolor variation and strengths. This is an important part, variation from dark to light and levels of paint strength and thickness. We are going to make a reference chart 1 through 5 from light to dark. Okay. This uh, particular exercise is a warm-up for you to be fami uh, familiar about watercolor painting. Okay. So first start practice, practice lines. I'm going to start take some pretty bright violet color. Practice drawing just a straight line with even consistency and value using just the tip of the brush. Okay. Just a straight line. Starting and ending point. Next, practice drawing a line that will vary in value from thick to thin. So, thick, thick and thin. Kind of like this. Next, pushing firmly on the side of the brush, draw a line. Push like this. Next color gradation, put some color on your brush. I'm going to try now. This is uh, ultramarine. Take some uh, color, very thickness color. First, start here, push this color. Clean the brush a little bit. Make the gradation. Put your some color on your brush. This is crimson lake color. Touch the paper to put your color down. And then Clean the brush, go back to the color you just put down and 
dilute the paint with water. Make a gradation. This is a crimson lake color. Clean the brush and take some another color. This is a sap green. You can practice any colors. This is a sap green. Sap green on your brush and touch the paper to put your color down. Then clean the brush and then go back to the color you just put down and dilute the paint with water very gently. This technique takes us from stronger color to a lighter color. If you practice a strong to light color, you can control the water on the brush and paper. This is a very important concept how to control the water, we have more opportunities in chapter 3 to practice wet on wet and wet on dry technique. This is yellow color and next uh, I want to get a burnt sienna. I strongly recommend for you this is very important concept so you need to do practice all of your palette colors next we will make our color value chart ranging from 1 to 5 the paint I'm using ultramarine. Take some of paint and make number three consistency somewhere on your palette. So make number one value by dipping into the number three and dip your brush into the water. So number two, add a little bit less water. Number three is already on your palette. Make number four by adding more paint. So a little bit make a little thick and dark color. So number five. Number five is directly from paint to paper. Brush already has uh, water, so I number five. I didn't use any water, just directly from paint to paper. So then we will practice value in the opposite direction, going from dark to light. So number five to number one, getting lighter. Number five to one. Then label each value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then uh, label the gradation in the same way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Next, we will draw this leaf from my garden with coloring and shading. I'm going to use the value we just worked on to complete this technique. I hope you always bring the color chart you made today to class. So, pencil drawing and watercolor, even though they are different medium, the values are the same. 
We will make our chart for pencil value in the next class. The basic of painting can be boring. Please be patient. And it's also an important part for intermediate students to review the basic, right? I got some yellow and mixed sap cream, so I got very light green. I put on the first layer. This is yellow curl put on the middle of uh, middle of the leaf. and add Montesina colors. This paper is still wet, so colors are spread by themselves. I'm trying to shadow part so I mix the ultramarine and uh, bright violet. Okay, today's work all finished. Could you please bring this our color value chart all of our class? Also, we will make our pencil value chart next class. And one more thing, I'm curious how much you understand. If you ask a question or a picture in the feedback corner, I will leave you an answer it. Okay? I hope you have a great day. See you next time.